You also developing tonight, a 40 year old jujitsu instructor is out on bond. He's accused of sexually assaulting a child. Joseph Gallero is the owner of Exception Squad Jiu Jitsu. The Bear County Sheriff says last year the instructor groomed and sexually assaulted a 14 year old student. Kent's Five reporter Meredith Haas is live outside the Sheriff's Office following the investigation. Meredith. Yeah, and Henry, tonight the sheriff wants to put a warning out there. He believes there could be more victims of Caballero and of what he is accused of. The sheriff says that he is accused of grooming this 14 year old student back at the end of 2023 over a course of months. And again, the student was 14 years old. It wasn't until this past weekend that the alleged victim went to her parents to tell them what happened. Caballero was then arrested at his home. The sheriff says Caballero initiated a relationship with her after he started dropping anonymous letters in her locker at Exception Squad Jiu Jitsu. The sheriff says this was a grooming type of behavior where the man pretended to be a secret admirer. But if he does end up getting uh, convicted of this, uh, it's possible that he will be, you know, uh, he'll have to register. Uh, and, and obviously as part of that, uh, there'll, there'll most likely be some stipulations in there that they can't have contact with young people. Uh, but as we know, uh, there's, there's always workarounds. And so we're, we're putting this information out in hopes that if there are other victims, somebody will come forward. Now authorities are still working to see where the alleged assaults happened. Caballero is out on a $75,000 bond. He is facing a second degree felony charge of sexually assaulting a child. Again, the sheriff wants to stress tonight that he believes there could be more victims, especially those who go to this place where they practice jujitsu. So you are asked to call authorities if you believe you are a victim of Caballero or if you know any information of anyone being a victim of his. Live outside of the Bear County Sheriff's Office, I'm Meredith Haas, Ken's Five.